feels good. It feels good to come back and get a win. Regardless of, of who we're playing out here, it's, it's hard to win in this league. And um, you know, we were just really happy that we came out with a win. So um, you know, we'll learn from the things that uh, you know, we, we could have done better. Uh, we could have finished a lot of drives better. We could have um, you know, given um, guys opportunities more, um, put guys in better uh, position to make uh, plays for our team. Um, but you know that that's it's always tough when when you're you're hot your team is hot and then you go into a bye week um you're you know you you try to come back on a week like this uh to find whatever that feeling was that you know you guys had with that momentum um you know and and, and that's all it was uh we were just out there just trying to find you know what rhythm our offense was was trying to get back into so you know i i think we'll We'll go in, uh, you know, find that throughout the, this this next week, um, and we'll be better for it. Tula, how, how did you guys go through the decision for you to play another game in the third quarter? Yeah, well, um, uh, Mike, Mike, and uh, um, uh, Bev, they they were going to give me two um, series, and so they they gave me two series, and then um, told me they were going to pull me if the opposing team didn't score. So uh, they didn't score. Got got in two series and. Uh, they pooed me. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, there were conversations like, "Hey, like you, we might need you to come back in, um, you know, if they score again on on this, because then it'll be a one score game." So, yeah, uh, I was I was prepared to come back in if need if needed to. That that sack you had late in the first half, you bent backwards. Did yeah, come out clean from that. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. Uh, Tomorrow will feel a little different, but um, yeah, felt good from that. I was just thinking, get up so we could clock it. <laughs> so obviously, in a game like this, you get to get up by somebody. Man, that was awesome to see from from our defense. Um, you know, the the turnovers, uh, the sacks. You know, just the big hits that that they were making defensively. For me, I'm I'm used to seeing that uh, because in my first two years, you know that that's the type of defense we've had, uh, a defense that would get intercept interceptions and then would score, um, you know, and we'd come off with like five turnovers a game, um, you know, my my first two years. So I'm used to seeing that, and it, it's always great to watch um, when, you know, when when we're able to also do some things um, really well offensively. Yeah, uh, well, I, I think with some of the plays that um, I told Mike I, I liked, um, I, I put some guys in some bad situations um, by doing so. And, um, you know, like I said, that, that's, that has a lot to do with Kind of finding the rhythm of the game with, uh, you know, your guys or your players, so, you know that that that, you know, I would I would say that one falls on me, um, but yeah, we'll we'll be better for it. Two of the broadcast said that last year, you had some moments where you looked yourself in the mirror and had to ask, like, am I, am I good? Am I good? Sure. And that Mike showed you a 700 play highlight tape, reminding you, yes, you are. Can you? Just describe from your perspective what that process was. Uh, well, I, I I thought it was cool. You know, I, I think anyone here can attest to someone believing in them, and um, you know how how that changes how they see um, themselves, but also things around them. So perspective. But it it, it I mean it, it was awesome. Um, there's a lot of uh, details that. Um, uh, entail, you know, me sitting down with him and and uh, other things as well. But uh, it, it it's awesome. It, it's really cool. Was that the, was that the first um, step to being what you are today? This season was was that that aff affirmation from your head coach and all that. You know? Um. Well, yeah, I, I think that that could be a step. But you know, at the end of the day, no matter how good your relationship is with someone, you still got to go out and play. You got to go play football, and that's with all of our guys. I could have a great relationship with our running backs. You know, I, I mean, I can't 
having a good relationship with you, I can't help you rush for 2,000 yards, you know, or rush for however many yards you want to in the game. So um, we all got to be dialed into the details of what the offense entails. And, um, you know, that I, I would say that's just an add-on, uh, the relationships we have with one another in the building, with each other, uh, you know, from coach to player, player to player, and, uh, you know, much more, you know, in the building with everyone else. So early in the game, uh, Jalen Waddle broke the record for most receiving yards for the first two years in a career for the Dolphins. What could you say about your college team? Wow. Yeah, your college and pro wow. team. What could you say about that? Never knew that. Uh, congratulations to Jalen. I, you know, I, I, that's news to me. Um, I'm definitely going to go and uh, beat him up about that. I, I don't know if he knows too. So that that'll be that'll be awesome to tell him. Um, but well deserving for for someone like him. Um, comes into work, works his ass off, um, has a lot of questions every time. And you know, if he doesn't get them answered, then he's not going to be in for that play. So a very detail oriented person. And uh, very happy for him. You know, this is just the beginning. He's only in year two, and we got a lot more games to play. Five wins in a row, eight and three, three big road games upcoming. Where's the season stand for you all? What would you say right now? Well, we're enjoying uh, our, our win right now, being eight and three. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll come into work tomorrow, see what we need to get better with, and then we'll worry about uh, the next the next team. Well, I, I would say it's it's us just playing together as a team. Um, I understand the question of that being an individual thing, um, but really, I, I I'm not able to to have recognition or any of that without everyone doing their jobs, doing their assignments, and uh, you know, if a team has success, that's what brings individual success for for anyone on on any team. So. Um, you know, if, if we were losing, I mean, that. I don't know if I would be getting the recognition I'm getting. I don't know if any of the guys on our team would be getting that recognition. You know, it, it's really, it really is a team. So individual success is based off of the team's success. Any question? The relationship with uh, Trent Dilfer, uh, Uh, man, that's been a long time um, that I can remember uh, because I was in high school when that happened. And then I think that happened through the summer. And then I had a season, um, you know, after that. And then I was deciding what college I was going to go to. So really hard for me to, to think of a lot of the things that uh, Trent had, had told me and talked to me about. But, um, you know, he, he's a really great resource that I've been able to have in my corner. Um, you know, someone that I'm able to call, talk to about uh, whatever. And, you know, when, when I was uh, coming out in the draft, he was definitely someone that, uh, you know, kind of helped me um, prepare for, for the draft, too.